This activity is called hopping on one leg. One foot, one leg. So obviously what it means is you go up on one foot and you can hop. And you can actually stand in one place to hop to begin with. So you just hop and you can do five, ten hops. Off you go and try and do five, ten hops standing still. So you just count yourself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you can do the other leg. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Then what you do is you move around the room and hop. So you move around the room. Hopping on one leg, you can go forward, you can actually hop backwards, and then you change feet. It's great to do this with mum, dad, whoever's looking after you, brothers and sisters, but hopping forward, backwards, what else could we do? You're right, sideways. So you hop sideways. That's hopping. Enjoy it. Spinning in a circle is the next exercise. Spinning in a circle does exactly what it says. You just spin. And then you stop. I would recommend that you maybe spin once run in one direction, stop for a second, and then spin in the other direction. You ready to move with me? Go whatever direction you want to, ready, go. So you spin once, then you stop. What do we do now? We spin the other way. Spin the other way. Okay, this time let's have a race. Yes, yeah, so we're going once, whichever direction you want to, and you've got to try and beat me. You've got to get back and face the camera, face yourself before I finish. Are you ready? Don't go yet. Don't go. Ready? When I shall go, you can go. Go! I got back before you that time. Make sure you spin the other way this time. Ready, go. Okay, this time then, it's two times. You're spinning two times as fast as you can. Are you ready, go. One, two. And if you notice there what I actually did, I left one foot slightly on the ground and I pivot around it. So I keep this in the floor and I move around. It's because I've got a slippery floor. If you do that on carpet, it doesn't work as well. So that's called spinning. Hope you enjoy it. Balancing on one leg. Does exactly what it says in the tin. You've got to balance on one leg. So as I'm talking and you're listening to me, balance on one leg. And you've got to try and then stay as long as you can. Keep balancing as I'm talking. Put your hands out to the side. Copy me. Very good. You okay? You're not falling over yet? Put your leg out to the side. Put your leg out to the side. Oh, I saw you wobbling there. I saw you wobbling. Bring your leg back in. Oops, I, that's it. If you make mistakes, don't worry. Mistakes are great. You learn from your mistakes. So, I'm still balancing. So I go out to the side again. I come back to the middle. Copy me. Then, my hands go out to the side again. Put your leg out in front of you. How tall can you lift your leg? Oh, jeez. How high can you lift it? And bring it back down. And then, what do we do? Correct, we change leg. So this time, here, just balancing. If you want to be a little bit more balanced, what do we always say? Put your hands out to the side, but also bring them back in. Put them out to the side, bring them back in. Okay, when we put our leg, out to the side. Balance out to the side, hold it there, hold it there, bring it back in. And then balance with your leg out in front of you. Hold it there, hold it, hold it, hold it. Fantastic. And then again, do that two, three, four more times yourself. Enjoy. Running and jumping, turning and twisting. That's what we're gonna do in this exercise. So the first words I said was, correct, running and jumping. So, as you can see, I've thrown some items on the ground here, a jacket, a hat. You can put anything on the ground, a box. What else? 
anything you can find in the garden, anything you can find in the house. So you can do this exercise inside or outside. So you throw a few things on the ground. So the first thing is running and jumping. So what I do, run and jump. So I run and jump over the objects. So I run and jump over the objects. You can set this up as a mini obstacle course. The other word then I said was turn and then twist. What do we mean by turn is turn direction. So if I'm running and jumping, I turn and then I go back the other way. So I might jump over here, turn and go back. Then I mentioned the word twist, so it's turning and twisting. So what I'm going to do is, is run, jump, I might turn direction, but also I twist. So what I mean by twisting is, I jump over here, and I twist around, and then I jump again. So it's running, jumping, turning, twisting, using your imagination. So it's jumping, turn, twist, land. Ah! Lots of different activities within one little obstacle course. You make it up, challenge yourself with your brother, with your sister, with your friend, with your mum or dad, and make a little obstacle course. Use a little stopwatch, on your marks, get set, go. Then we can run around it and have a little bit of fun outside. Because that's the word we want to try keep using, is fun. Well done everybody, I'm very proud of you.